So now let's see how we can use the trunket silence effect inside of Audacity. So in order to use the trunket silence effect, what I need to do is I need to have an audio with a bunch of silences in between. So I'm just going to hit the record button so that I have such audio. So this is an audio that I have with silences in between. And there you go, you have the uh, um, audio file as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the trunket silence effect. So I'm going to press control A on my keyboard. And now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into uh, effect right here. And here you can see trunket silence is an effect. Once I click on trunket silence, you can go around and then select the threshold for the silence. So I'm going to say minus 15 dB right here. So you can go around and select the range for which the silence is here. So you can see that it has to be 20 right here. Otherwise, if you're using too low of a setting, then it does not allow to actually press OK. So 20, 21 and so forth is allowed. So 20 is minimum. So over here, you can also set the duration. So let's say uh, detect the silence if it is two seconds long right here, 0 0.2 seconds long that that is. And over here in the action, you can see you can trunk it. That is, you can keep the silence to 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.2 seconds over here as well. So once you are happy with the settings, you can go around and then press OK. And what happens is that it removes out the silences. So instead of having gaps, so this is an audio that I have with silences in between. All the silences in between is gone. And that is how you can trunk it silence um, that is use trunket silence effect inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.